Hello and welcome, my name is Arinda and I will be guiding you in this brief video through a series of exercises on stretching your wrists and forearms before a yoga practice or any other uh, activity that you might want to be doing using your arms and hands. So let's get started. At first, roll out your mat or a blanket where you can sit on comfortably. I recommend sitting on your shins like I am. If this is not comfortable for your knees or sit bones, you can use another blanket underneath your knees or a towel. And I'll be turning to the side to demonstrate. At first, we want to invite a little circulation on our arms. So I'm just going to bring my hands out to the side and just give them a little gentle shake. And this is something that you can do on a daily basis, even if you are not doing the rest of the exercises that I'll be guiding you through. Something that you can do just straight out of bed. And throughout all of these exercises, go ahead and breathe as deep and slow as you can without holding your breath. That way you bring on extra oxygen and fresh blood into the heart, which then goes out into your arms to feel even better when you're stretching them. Once you've been gently shaking your hands and wrists for about five breaths, we'll continue on with the next exercise. So go ahead and bring your arms parallel to the floor. And using your breath, we'll flip the palms facing out. So as you inhale, flip the palms, fingers toward your face. As you exhale, bring them down, fingers toward the floor. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And we'll continue for at least five rounds. You can do even 10 on a daily basis. If you would like to add on to this exercise and get also a little movement on the shoulders, what we can do is move the arms along. So as you inhale, you bring your arms up. And flip the palms as you exhale, bring them down, fingers toward your face. So let's go ahead and do two more like this. Inhale. Exhale. Imagine as you are finger painting, as you, if you had paint on your fingers and you're doing a little art piece with your hands. And once you complete with that, if you do feel your arms gently sore, if you're not used to doing this exercise, you can give them a little massage with your hands just for a couple of breaths. And for this next exercise, we'll bring our arms back to being parallel with the floor and we'll make fists with our hands. You can tuck the thumb in or out. It doesn't make a big difference right now. And using your breath, start to rotate just the wrist, the arms stay parallel with the floor. And then after at least five rotations, we'll reverse to the other direction. When you feel complete with that, after each exercise, you can do that gentle little shake again for a couple of breaths. For the next exercise, we'll bring our wrists on the floor. At first, the fingers pointing to the front. So go ahead and bring your hands on the side of the knees on the floor. And you can start with one at a time or both at a time, your choice. If you're just starting out, it might be nicer um, and a little easier to just do one at a time. So go ahead and spread the fingers wide and you want to bring each four corner, each all four corners of your hands on the mat. So one, two, three, and four down on the mat. If you tend to lock your elbows, go ahead and unlock them. Give your elbow just a little bent back. 
you're not feeling much of a stretch there, you can bring the hand farther back toward the toes. And again, keep that gentle little elbow bent, but bring your forearm forward. So you can bring your whole arm forward for this. And make sure to breathe. Continue on for at least five breaths. As you keep bringing up your arms a little more forward, you might notice the back of the hands start to lift off the mat. So you might have gone too far, so go ahead and bring it back down and continue to breathe. As you start to do this more regularly, you'll notice as you press the fingers down and the palm down, that you're creating this um, kind of a suction cup with your hand on the mat. And next we'll bring our arm 90 degrees out or our palm 90 degrees out. So fingers pointing to the side, wrists pointing toward our thighs. Take around five breaths there before moving on. As you start to do this regularly, if you want to add a little more to the stretch, you can bend the elbows out and you'll feel it right away on your wrist as well as your forearms. five breaths, bring the fingers pointing back, the wrists pointing forward. Again, be mindful of your elbow. If it locks out, go ahead and bend it back. And you'll notice, especially on this last one, your thumb and your pinky might be a little stubborn, so make sure they are also pressing down. And take five breaths here with me. stretch of the wrist on the floor. Go ahead and flip the palm over so the top of the hand is down. And again, spread open the fingers wide, attempting for each fingernail to press down on the mat. Now, if you have any big rings on your hand, you might want to remove those to make this more comfortable. five breaths, slowly peel the hand off the mat, bring your arms forward and just give your wrist a few gentle rotations like we did earlier. And then after that, introduce that gentle little shake on your hands. And then the next exercise, I'm going to turn toward you again. So bring your fingers interlaced and we'll create a little wave with our hands. So you can start however it feels comfortable to you. We'll do both sides. But you're making a little wave with your hands, stretching the wrist both directions. And you're also starting to get your shoulders involved here as well. for longer with this, but make sure you at least do five. Now when you're ready, slowly reverse the wave. You might find that it's a little more challenging to go the other way. It's just the way our brain works. So give yourself time and just play with it. Alright, when 
you complete with that, again, gentle shake on the wrist. And for this next one, I'll turn back to the side. So go ahead and release the arms to the side. Inhale and bring them up. Clasp the fingers and interlace. Flip the palms up and stretch your hands up. We're also getting our shoulders stretched here. Now notice at first your ribs might have poked out and you might have created a little arch with your back. So go ahead and engage your core. And then lift the palms up. Roll the shoulders back. Take a breath here. You can stay here for five breaths or if you feel like your arms are getting tired, you can just invite gentle movements. Inhale as the palms are up. Exhale as they come down. And then inhale back up. Exhale back down. You might want to do this five times. And release the clasp. Rotate your wrist again. Gentle shake your arms again. And you might want to give your forearms another little massage. You might notice at first that your forearms will feel a little sore if you're not used to doing this kind of stretch. But with repetition and with breath, slowly that soreness will go away. And you'll notice that your wrists will start to feel a little more flexible each day as well as stronger. So go ahead and give it a shot. Repeat every day. Remember to take at least five breaths in each step and making sure to cover left, right and left. And uh, start to notice your wrists become more flexible and stronger. Thank you for watching.